We're back. We are live. Good evening, dear friends. Good evening, dear guests. Sultanat, Nurgul, Versavia, thank you for joining us today. And I know it's morning in the USA. And how are you doing today? Great. 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 Yes. Good. Yeah. Thank you. And dear friends, uh, welcome to our live session. And today's uh, session is dedicated to the Fulbright T program, uh, Teaching Excellence and Achievement program, which is administrated by U.S. Embassy in Bishkek. And it is the program for the secondary school uh, teachers, uh, the teachers who teach English, uh, social studies, math, and other science. Yeah. So, uh, you will uh, get more information detailed from the presentation of our speakers. Uh, so, uh, добрый вечер, дорогие друзья. Спасибо большое, что присоединились к нам в эфир. Uh, очень вас благодарим. И сегодняшняя наша виртуальная встреча посвящена программе Fulbright Team, да, которая администрируется посольством США в Кыргызстане. И эта программа для учителей... Uh, учителей uh, начальных uh, средних школ, которые преподают английский, uh, математику и другие предметы. И другие, больше детальные, детальные информации вы получите с презентации, с презентации наших uh, гостей. Поэтому uh, задавайте свои вопросы в комментариях, на которые мы ответим после презентации наших гостей. Вы можете задавать uh, вопросы на английском, на русском или на кыргызском языке. Так, тогда мы начинаем. So, Sultanat, I'm giving you virtual speech. Thank you. So. Thank you, Mahabat. Good evening. So, so all about Fulbright tea and me. So, it's a, a Fulbright tea program uh, for, as Mahabat mentioned, for uh, secondary school teachers who teaches English as a foreign language, also as a social studies, uh, math, who teach science and history. And the, um, this program is uh, administrated by U.S. Embassy in Bishkek. And the Fulbright Teaching Excellence Achievement Program, also we name it as a T, is a non-degree, six-week uh, intensive, uh, intensive non-credit and non-degree, six-week professional development program at uh, uni uh, U.S. universities uh, for developing uh, um, professional development. And it uh, also, can you, the next slide, Mahabat? It's also uh, provides, uh, T program provides academic sessions, technology sessions, and field experience, cultural activities. For academic sessions, we learn how to, no, 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 uh, how to learn, um, we are learning uh, new teaching strategies, new teaching methodologies. And in a technology session, we are uh, learning about new online tools. And in field experience, we have a one week uh, observing classes and co-teaching in American schools. So for cultural activities, we are um, taking part in uh, different cultural events, in different uh, cultural uh, exchange activities as uh, presenting our culture, uh, visiting uh, American, um, American holidays, uh, American uh, families. So in addition, it uh, uh, provides for uh, fellows uh, to apply for grants after coming back to our countries. Uh, also, uh, we can provide some workshops, seminars, and the trainings for our colleagues, for our teachers in Kyrgyzstan also. And the, uh, the eligibility of uh, program is we should be uh, secondary level uh, teachers and full-time teachers. 
with more than five years uh, of classroom experience in teaching uh, English as a foreign language and social studies, science and math. And T program has two cohorts uh, as a T um, and as a media literacy. And I think Versailles will uh, provide more information about media literacy cohorts. So let's start, uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Sultanat. Uh, I am from uh, Jirgalang. It's a school. I have been teaching English for 15 years and I was an access teacher also within two years. And I like felting, cooking and hiking. And my credit is keep learning that I am doing nowadays. <laughs> So the next. So in the uh, T program, uh, when you have uh, passed the stages, there are uh, three stages. The first is the application. After application, you should uh, uh, pass the TOEFL test and then uh, interview. After that, you uh, T program uh, uh, you will be at uh, U.S. University, and here in North Carolina, our host university is uh, UNCG. It is a, a North Carolina University in Greensboro. So Greensboro is a mm, very nice city. Uh, I like it very much. There are so many trees is uh, unusual for me uh, and the university is so big the campus is big and it is a more safety place for students i think and greensboro staff is also very welcoming uh, they do their best to share with the experience with us uh, the doctors professors our coordinator are very uh welcoming so the next and host university provides general academic sessions in these uh, academic sessions we are learning uh, uh lesson planning uh, micro teaching co-teaching and the self-designing. We have uh, lessons uh, devoted to TESOL. Also, we uh, about dual language, how to teach second language. Uh, also, there is a makerspace. There we doing our uh, culture posters and also uh, host university provides cultural events. We have culture conversation with uh, U.S. students. Also, we present our culture um, to uh, mm -hmm. the university students, to the university staff. And uh, uh, here we exchange uh, our traditions, our culture with other countries too, for, uh, because there are uh, 21 uh, participants from different countries and we learn from each other also and we are getting um we are strengthening our relationship within these six weeks so next one and uh, also uh, as a culture exchange activity on weekends we uh have a host family on uh, on weekend we meet our host family and we do some activities we go to uh, outside outdoor we do outdoor activities also uh, we uh, how to say uh, have a dinner with them and we see in real life how uh, american people live uh what kind of relationship they have and the, we can uh, go outside see uh sightseeing of uh north carolina 
And here my host family, Lori and Tim, they are also teachers. Thank you. And in New York, we have uh, another host family. They are Inna and uh, Inna and John. So next one. So in the, we have one week in uh, US schools. We call them field experience. During this week, we observe English classes. Also, we co-teach with our co-partner. And also, we do volunteering works. Uh, we were helping uh, students to do uh, homeworks, uh, to help them um, do some extra activities except English classes. Also, I have... Uh, provided uh, my culture presentation for UNCG college, middle college students. Uh, they, uh, they, I have uh, told them about Kyrgyzstan, about Kyrgyzstan's culture. Uh, they, um, they were informed about landscapes, about monastery, and the, it was a, a nice uh, presentation for them. They liked it. And during this field experience, uh, we can uh, observe how the uh, English teachers provide their lessons and get new techniques, new methodologies that are different from ours. And also we see the differences of uh, our teaching, the education of uh, US system. So it's a... Uh, big uh, exchange of uh, experience in a U.S. school. And also we have uh, outdoor activities. Uh, here our uh, host university uh, organized a meeting with a city manager. Uh, Greensboro city manager was uh, welcoming us. And also we have a presentation about human rights how they, um, how they uh, deal with uh, immigrants, how they uh, help the homeless people, how they um, protect human rights. And it's such kind of uh, activity where they uh, involving us to uh, life of the city. Uh, so also we attend uh, most museums in Greensboro and also we have a uh, four days for free day and on these days we have traveled to New York City it's the sightings of New York City we have visited uh, Statue of Liberty Times Square American Indian Museum also Highland also Central Park and it's a uh, um, here is I want to express my gratitude to US Embassy for giving me such big opportunity to experience in US and I'm so excited uh, this is a also, we have attended a flank conference in another city. Uh, here, each year, from uh, different towns, from different universities, come English, Spanish, and French, Japan teachers, and they share their experiences. Uh, it was a big chance to participate in this conference, and we get lots of. Uh, new uh, methodologies, new techniques, how to teach uh, foreign languages. Also, we attended uh, uh, corn farm. Uh, it's uh, how to say, uh, it was a great opportunity to see how the American people uh, celebrate the Halloween. So next one, 
Oh, it's the end of my presentation. So thank you for listening to me. And the, if you have questions. Yeah, thank you, Sultanat, for a wonderful presentation. I think there will be there. Of course, we have already the question, but we will answer them after the all the presentation of our participants. Yeah, so thank, you. thank you. And so we are moving to the next uh, parts of our session. So Nurgul uh, will tell about the cities of US and CIC. Hello, good evening, Kazakhstan. Um, good morning in our country in the medicine and uh, as a participant of Fulbright uh, program in media literacy cohort <clears throat> I would like um, to say that it's a great honor to be a part of this program and uh, I want to uh, say that a great a huge credit to the US Embassy in Kyrgyz Republic for giving us to a great chance uh here and then uh, <clears throat> i want to uh, say thanks also for all uh irx people present presenters and also the for uh u.s embassy uh here i want to so, uh, say about the full bright program in medicine where we are 22 participants from uh Eastern Europe and the Central Asia have uh, participated uh, here in the uh, uh, our host university is called uh, University of Wisconsin in Madison. Uh, next, um, Habat, can you move it? Uh, this university was the first public university established in Wisconsin and uh, remains the oldest and the largest public university in the state. And if I say about the, this badger, this badger is mascot was adopted by the University of Wisconsin in 1889. It was dubbed the Badger State because of the lead uh, miners who settled there in the 1820s and the 1830s. And here is my photo. And here I want to uh, introduce myself. Um, how about next? Uh, as a participant of this Fulbright TIP program, uh, I want to introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Nurgul Sulaimanwa, and uh, I am from Batken, uh, from Kyrgyzstan. Also, I have been teaching 13 years uh, in, at this Jomar Pukumbaya Secondary School. Also, um, I'll, uh, I am I love the uh, playing volleyball, swimming, and the cooking, and uh, I also keep learning the my uh, learn knowledge. Next, Mahabat. Okay, um, UW Medicine uh, have provided uh, a lot of sessions, a lot of project works, uh, and. Uh, we were in the post families and the additional American host families invited the old participants for dinner where we have learned about their life, culture, about American people, about, about uh, American cultures. Also, uh, our host university provided different kind of sessions which were the, uh, as in uh, uh, this uh, education building and in open air session also was and uh, also we have a, a great opportunity to, to, ta uh, to take part in the media literacy where we will have worked uh, with uh, um, uh, beautiful people who worked uh, with us with technologies and uh, showed us how to uh, how to uh, um, see the uh, technologies using our lessons in our sessions and the, uh, at the end of the, this program we uh, have a project work which uh, uh, showed and presented yesterday in our final um, ceremony presentation Next. Now, also i want to say about my host family about uh, bob and uh, many 
who is working in educational system also and uh, they uh, showed us uh, how the american people life uh, love their own country and they showed uh, own their cultures also from this site i want to guide you to the side things and the cultural events in me uh, medicine uh, and medicine and around it in the first week we could uh, enjoy it with american women's volleyball volleyball uh, which was very exciting and impressive. Uh, also, you can see that here is the pumpkins and the products, and uh, here is, this is the main um, capital sightseeing. And uh, if I say about this uh, cultural event, farmers uh, market it, it's called it. Every Saturday in September, months, farmers of uh, medicine were selling their products, food, uh, it was uh, it was like a uh, calling the autumn holiday. Um, and next, Mahavat, the main uh, here you can see the main uh, interesting place in medicine is a, it's called the capital. It is the tallest building in medicine, com completed in 18, 1917. Nowadays, all tourists uh, could see the old rooms inside the capital. You can see the, uh, how we can go to these uh, rooms. And they were searching all uh, interesting things, interesting informations about the capital, uh, inside this capital. It's, uh, in, uh, in the second, uh, we could invite to the old bridge Botanical Garden, Mahabad, can you move it? Mm, Botanical Albridge Garden, where the world was, uh, where the world was so amazing and so different. Uh, uh, we can see there's so many different kinds of plants, uh, flowers, and then uh, delightful designing the plants. All of them were so exciting, and you can see the uh, here is the, in the photo American group appearing woman who uh, guided us to the Gleam 2022 at the Elbridge Botanical Garden. It was uh, in the evening and the, in there we can see the uh, highlighted uh, amazing um, instructions, uh, attractions there, which was uh, <coughs> organized by the uh, presenters of uh, garden, Elbridge Garden. Uh, and there was uh, the delightful flowers uh, who, uh, uh, where we can see that in the evening they, they changed their uh, positions. Uh, Mahabad, can you move? Mm -hmm. Also, also uh, in this week, we can't. Um, uh, uh, we could see the festivals in the street which were unusual for us to see their unusual beautiful clothes beautiful designers of their cars uh, techniques uh, and also we can see the dances how they danced with their uh, amazing clothes with the highest highest uh, steps actions also the next was the football game where the students of high school competed with each other and they have showed their extremely strong interest uh, to the game. Not only football players, also all audience uh, audience in the stadium was very keen interest to their uh, comment. And they every time upload them uh, to support their uh, comment. Next, uh, uh, outside the, the Memorial Union of Campus of the University, there were another cultural event where all participants could enjoy with uh, fresh air of the forest and the, and the lake. Uh, yeah, the lake was uh, this forest had an amazing rest with fire in the circle you can see in the photo. 
and the additional we could test the delicious farm pizza which is very famous in medicine uh farm pizza was uh, very delicious and uh, all of us all participants were enjoying by uh, listening the uh, music a uh, live music in this field uh, and so, so the people was very cheerful was very uh, uh, grateful for us also uh, also they um were interested about us and came to us and they asked about uh, where we are from and uh, in this case we can change our uh, say our uh, co uh, countries and uh, uh, present here ourselves. Yeah. Also, um, we go to the uh, in medicine has uh, museums, also libraries. One of them was a chosen museum of art. Is an art museum located in the medicine. There yeah, we could see different kind of photo exhibitions and. Uh, uh, paper hand made is um, uh, plastic exhibitions uh, which impressed me uh, it was made of plastic uh, I call it the plastic in entanglements entanglements and the in medicine public library also the many uh, uh, books in medicine which uh, also we can call the medicine public library medicine free library where the students can go and freely use all uh, all uh, informations books from the library uh, it is free for the students and for the people who live in medicine uh, also they can uh, uh, want to get information about the history literature religion travel and the fiction and science in this library. Another event was, uh, it's a great uh, event was for us, uh, uh, hiking at Devil's Lake. Uh, Devil's Lake, it call, it's called the Devil's Lake State Park, where we made uh, the hiking along the lake and through the amazing mountain. Our participants divided into parts and they go around the lake or one part and the second part uh, go through the mountain, uh, which was very interesting to see there. Uh, also, there are uh, so many uh, interesting uh, hills, also uh, trees there. Yeah. Uh, also, we can see that from the highest hill, we could see the beauty of the lake. Uh, where we are, we are in the photo you can see uh, and the, the nature was very very exciting uh, next uh, and the last weekend uh, and then now our uh, was the travel to Chicago it was a great uh, Fulbright participant uh, uh, trip. We could see the, the, the we could see the Willis Tower, and uh, they are also the bean, which is actually call uh, name it the Cloud Gate. Uh, Navy Pier Park, where the uh, all uh, attractions and also uh, shops uh, we can see. Uh, also, our participants, Fulbright participants, uh, using the towers, uh, to the museums and the other sightseeing in Chicago. And at the end of my presentation, I would like uh, also again to say uh, thanks uh, to the U.S. Embassy in Kyrgyz Republic, to the IREX, also uh, for you, Mahabat, for inviting uh, us uh, to this online session. It was a great opportunity to us to be here and uh, be part of this uh, session. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you for the wonderful presentation. So, 
we are moving to the next part of our session. So Versavia, Versavia will uh, tell us about their activities and the difference between classic T and classic media literacy. So Versavia, your presentation. Okay, good evening, Versavia. I'm happy to be online with you and I'm happy to present my presentation. And yeah, so I am Fulbright T Mass Media uh, cohort uh, teacher, and right now I'm the I'm in the USA. So there are 22 uh, teachers from more than 10 countries came together to study about US culture and to teach in high school in the USA. Uh, the next slide. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the difference between Fulbright T mass media and Fulbright T general pedagogy, general uh, cohort. Okay, so the main difference is uh, that for uh, Fulbright T mass media program, uh, teachers who teach English, social studies, media su studies, math, science, biology, STEM subjects can apply and participate for this program. The stages are similar. The first stage is you have to submit application form where you have to write essays and you have to provide information about yourself. The second step is the TOEFL and the third step is interview. If you teach English, if you teach social studies, if you teach math, media studies and science, you can apply for this program and come to the USA. The next slide. Okay, so I will, uh, Nurgulje has already told you about host university. Yeah, so our host university is University of Wisconsin-Madison. It's a very big and very good university in the capital of Wisconsin state. Next slide. Madison is the capital of Wisconsin state. It's very, very beautiful city. There are many lakes, the nature, people. Everything is so nice. And I'm very happy that I'm here. Okay, so there are 22 teachers from Europe and from uh, Asia. So to, together, we participate in different activities. We uh, go to the exhibitions, we travel, uh, and we spend time together. We have free time and we have optional activities uh, which we can choose and which we can do. Next slide. So let's talk about cultural activities. So we uh, uh, we participated in different exhibitions. Uh, we have uh, host families here, and we also can uh, uh, can uh, go to the different sport activities, volleyball games, and American uh, football games, and so on. So if you come to the USA, uh, you will do so many different things optional activity and not optional activity, visiting host families, have dinner with them, taking pictures, uh, even more, you can travel to the different states. I will tell you about that later. Finally, so trips. Uh, I had the chance to go to the North Carolina uh, to see the Atlantic Ocean, to visit my friends there. And I also, my team and I, we went to Chicago uh, to see this beautiful state. Uh, to see this beautiful city, sorry, and to uh, have fun there. Next one. Okay, so right now I want to talk to you about field experience. The field experience is a three-week uh, uh, school teaching experience in American high school, where you have a chance to teach about your country, to teach mass media lessons, to share your culture, to talk with American students, and to feel this American high school uh, atmosphere and culture. Uh, for me, it was a definitely a great experience to talk with students and to share about my culture. Okay, so right now I want to share three different teaching activities that you can use both for teaching English and for social studies uh, 
lessons. The first one is civic online reasoning. Let's talk about it. Next slide. Okay, so Civic Online Reasoning is a very useful website for teachers that you can use. This website contains different lesson plans and resources for teachers for free. You just need to log in using your Gmail address and then you will have access to many useful resources if you teach social studies, mass media, and just English. I highly recommend you this uh, website to use it because it's easy and it's very accessible and it's useful it can help you to save your time and to use american resources in your classroom the second one is the canva uh, maybe you know about canva maybe you don't know about canva but canva is a very useful website for creating many different things for your teaching you can create posters, infographics, presentations, uh, labels, stickers, everything for free using Canva. You just need your Gmail address. And in my, uh, in my teaching, I use Canva a lot for posters, for letters, for presentations, for, for everything. So use Canva in your teaching and it will help you to make your teaching more effective. And finally, uh, the last activity that I recommend you is ZO. It's a fake. Uh, uh, it's a fake. The op is a website that creates uh, that helps you to create fake TikToks, posts, uh, Twitter posts, uh, Instagram posts, uh, and so on. So uh, on the screen right now, you can see uh, it's my colleague. She is from Europe, and we created this uh, fake Twitter together. So if you want to engage your learners. And if you want to use different creative ways to teach English, you can use the OP website uh, to teach your students how to create different um, posts uh, um, on social media. So it's creative, it's easy, and students um, are always uh, like to uh, create, you know, different TikTok posts, Instagram posts, Twitter posts. Okay. So these are my three activities, the Civic Online Reasoning website, Canva, and the op. So these, I hope that these three um, uh, res resources will help you in your teaching and you will use them. So thank you, Versailles, for the wonderful presentation and the informative activities. And thank you, ladies, for your all your experience and time for joining us. So we have some comments and some questions. So let me show you some of them. So we have also wishes <laughs> for you. So um, the first one, the first question is, may teacher participate who are teaching medicine? How do you think? Okay, I can. Mm -hmm. uh, Guldana, thank you for your question. Uh, if you teach, um, yeah, different subjects, you can apply for mass media cohort. Okay, so but you need to know English. Yes. You need to pass a uh, TOEFL test. English fluency is required. Yeah. So and for the application form, you need to write many essays. Not many, but more than five, I believe. Yeah. So uh, if, if your English is good and you teach different subjects, not only English, you can apply for Fulbright T mass media program. Yeah. Also so, for Fulbright T program, you can apply. If you uh, know English, uh, you can write uh, fluently in English, you can apply. If you teach mass, science, history, social studies, you can apply. So thank you, Guldana. So she can participate. Yeah. yeah. The next. Also, is... Is... oh sorry. Also, uh, you should have a uh, more than five years experience in teaching uh, English yeah. classroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For media literacy, I think more than three years. Yeah, Versavia. I believe we have the same mm -hmm. requirement. Uh, I the... think uh, for T program. It's uh, five and more years. For mass media, it is more than three years. Only this difference. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Salta this comment for you. Salta, hello from Aksu region. <laughs> mm -hmm. The next one, hello ladies. I'm really happy for you. I, it's a great program with great opportunities for us teachers. Huge thanks to the US Embassy and IREX. So the next comment is good evening, glad to see you, ladies. Nurgul, I am proud of you, dear. <laughs> yes, thank you. The next one. From Nargiza, I'm happy to see you ladies in the U.S. A uh, really great, great program. Thanks for U.S. Embassy Bishkek uh, for the, such splendid opportunity. Enjoy your time. Yeah, it's uh, na na uh, last week for our participants of this program, so I think they are really enjoy. <laughs> so, and it's also one comment. Sultanat is uh, great to see you. Hope you have spent a good time there. Proud of you. The next question is from Aidai. Здравствуйте, спасибо за сессию. Салтанат, скажите, пожалуйста, как вы узнали про эту программу? So, um, I applied two times and the second time was uh, lucky for me and I'm in USA nowadays and I'm so excited. So, um, I heard about program from uh, T alumni uh, from Sultanat Shorokova, from Aizada Pasova, from Aija Malija, from Gul uh, As I was an access teacher, access micro scholarship teacher, I uh, participated in uh, different um, trainings which provided the access program and there also was a presentation about T program. And uh, T alumni uh, inspired me to participate in this program. And also from uh, uh, American uh, Kone, I heard about this program. And uh, thank you for the question. I, I die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so Sultanat uh, knew this program from the trainings from your colleagues. Yeah. And Virsavia, uh, Nurguli Je, how you uh, know knew about this program? Can I say I heard about this program from the ex uh, from the teacher access micro scholarship and they he provided us about all programs uh, in the US Embassy. In the Republic, and the my mind was very helpful not only for me, for other teachers also, because they are trying in this year to uh, participate in this program, and they, it will be very good for them in, um, in order to enhance their knowledge in English, not only in English, also in media literature. Uh, also, thank you for look back. Uh, I can say that. Thank you. Uh, in my case, Aida, thank you for your question. I saw the post on Facebook mm. and then I did the research and then I found teachers who were in the USA using it through this program. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you, ladies, for your responses. So, we have the next question. Какой опыт нужен, чтобы подать на эту программу? Ну, для этого, да, вот this you should have an five and more experience in teaching class. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for my media literature also it would be three and more. Yeah. Yeah. Three and, more. and it's also and important to make also, also to apply. So it's all also important to mention that not the only the teachers of English language yet, yeah, yeah. the also the uh, 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 other as subjects can uh, participate in this. So yeah. math, social studies, or so science also they also, also can uh, yeah. yeah participate also in this business, business management. Mm -hmm. We have in my uh, among my fellows here in UNCG we have. Uh, math teacher, business management teacher, uh, history teacher from Russia, and the um, geography teacher also from Mali. So mm -hmm. these subjects who teach these subjects also can apply. Mm -hmm. But as Versailles mentioned, you should uh, have a English fluency for writing essays and <laughs> for applying. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So thank you for yeah, watching. We have, mm -hmm, we have some also comments and wishes. Uh, so tonight you are doing a great job. Happy to see you there. Um uh, the, the interesting comment also uh from Lukbek. Good to see you, ladies. You did it. This is the beginning yeah. of the importance and life-changing journey. Proud of you, Nurgul. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah well, we have also a comment from Gulnana. It takes too much time to prepare, also it's hard to take. And can you share with your experience of preparation to this program, ladies? How long does it take? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I can say, Gulnana, that it's challenging, but it's possible. So do everything step by step to the first step, application, the second step, toy for test, and then final the interview. Yeah, it's challenging, but it's possible. So we are here, yeah. so you can do it too. So don't worry, if you need our help, you can uh, contact us and we can help you. We just can give you a piece of advice about application, toy for, or about interview. So but my tips for you for application, uh, try to uh, uh, meet the deadline and write a good essays. For TOEFL test, just prepare. Please take your time and prepare for the TOEFL test. And for interview, just be yourself. Be honest and simple. It's only for 10 minutes. Yeah. It's challenging, but also for the interview, you should uh, remember, you should uh, revise about your purpose. Why are you applying for this program? What, what goals are you uh, applying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the next question. If they, so if I understood right, these ladies are English teachers. So three of you, all of you, yeah. English yeah. language teachers. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, uh, this program gives big opportunity for secondary level teachers uh, to uh, have experience in U.S. schools, in U.S. universities and exchange our experiences teaching and get knowledge. So we are three of us English teachers at a secondary school. In my case, I am in a public school. I, work, I am an English teacher uh, at a secondary school as a foreign language teacher. Yeah. Thank you. So we have the next comment. Thank you for your feedback. So um, there is no uh, more question. Mm -hmm. So, but we have a little time. So if you want, uh, ladies, uh, you can say some motivation words and some yeah for the for the people for the teachers who are going to. Uh, to participate this year, maybe next year, yeah, yeah. maybe some some your wishes. Okay, so can I start? Yeah, Sultanat, please. First of all, thank you, Mahabat, for writing such amazing uh, live chat with uh, Pakistan teachers. And for my colleagues, you are also doing your best. <laughs> so, and um, my uh, gratitude for U.S. Embassy in Bishkek to organizers uh, for giving me a chance to expand, to enhance my teaching skills. And uh, as Ulbeck mentioned, I think we are now as a life-changing persons. And we have so many full of luggage of uh, knowledge and uh, we got all the useful skills and we are ready to apply in uh, after returning uh, to Kyrgyzstan uh, we have so many um, uh, materials for sharing maybe face to face maybe online and the, uh, we learned a lot about student center and teaching that is also important thing in teaching and I'm also going to provide some uh, seminars for my local teachers, I hope. And I wish, I hope that there will be more teachers who will apply for this program and uh, to have such kind of beautiful chance to be, yes. And uh, if 
have uh, questions or you want to have some tips, uh, we can uh, provide this opportunity. Uh, we can give our email address, also WhatsApp numbers if you need. So apply for this program, explore US and share with your experiences. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Also, I want to say that a huge great to the U.S. Embassy and for you, Mahabad, for this uh, live chat also. And also, I can uh, say that uh, great uh, thanks to look back again because he provided me so many informations about this program. Every, uh, every time when I asked him, and also uh, in this case, uh, it was a great experience for me to participate here to see uh, there's so many different uh, things uh, which I can uh, share with my teachers, colleagues, also with students. Uh, uh, it will be help, uh, helpful for them. And also, it was very helpful for me, first of all. And just, I can say the thanks for you. Thanks so much. It's a great, great um uh, beautiful program for all English teachers and uh, for other teachers also who know the English language. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nirguli And yeah, thank you, Mahabad, for this online session and thank you, uh, U.S. Embassy in Kyrgyzstan, for this great chance to visit USA, to feel American culture, to gain this valuable experience. Um, yeah, and so I just want to motivate teachers that everything is possible and we as English teachers, we have to feel it, this, this culture, this environment, you know, in order to share our students, how it, to, to feel it in uh, our, ourselves, you know. So uh, I wish you all the teachers good luck uh, and uh, you can apply for this program soon, I believe. The process soon will be open. And if you need our help, we can help you. Yeah. Yeah. I know that many uh, teachers are eager to participate in this uh, program. Uh, we did it, and I think you also can do it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So, ladies, it's uh, thank you for wonderful presentation for sharing with your experience. So I know you are so busy, and you have the last week of your journey of your program. In spite of this, you, in a way, agreed to share with your um, ideas with your time. We are very, very thank you, and uh, we wish you a good day. I know it's the day is only <laughs> beginning for you in the US, so. And also, I would like to thank the, our viewers for their time and comments and their questions. So, see you on the next our live session. So, bye. Good evening. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye bye.